G'day gamers, today we're going to paint the Lord of Decay from Bloodfield by Titan Forge Miniatures. First up I'm going to cover the entire body in this dark blue. I'm going to avoid painting all the metal looking parts and all that kind of thing. Next I'm going to grab a light blue and do a dry brush over it, picking up all the detail all over his body. There's plenty of it there, so we want that to pop. Next I'm going to get a chrome silver and I'm going to paint all the metal parts. I'm trying my hardest to avoid painting the blue parts that I've done, but... Uh, Here I've got an undiluted blue ink and I've kind of put it over and completely ruined everything I did underneath, but here we live and learn. Here I've got that light blue again and I'm just going back over, doing a dry brush, picking up all that detail all over his body. And now I've just mixed a little bit of white in with that blue from the previous step and I'm just going over them again, just a lot lighter this time and more focusing on the top parts where the light would hit. Here I've grabbed a pink and I'm just doing the inside of the, my man's mouth. Here I'm just going over the horns and all the little stitches all over his body for washers in a future step. Just picking up all those little details. You can give and take what you want to cover here. In this step, I'm just painting black over the little exhaust horn things on his back. This is going to be so the chrome that I'm going to put on him in a couple of steps will pop a lot more. Now I'm just going over all that silver parts with a black wash, my favourite thing on earth. It's just going to sink into all those little spots and just give it all that nice detail. Now I'm just using a red and I'm just going to do his tongue and just put a little bit in the eyes. I'm not good at eyes, so red. Here I've got a sepia wash and I'm just going over all those stitches just to give them that level look. Here I've got my chrome and as I said before I'm just going over all those stacks and everything that I painted black before and just giving them a little chrome look. Here I noticed that there were a couple of little tubes and stuff running from his body so I decided I'd put like a nice fluoro-y green over all the tubes.
All right, on my base, I've got some concrete looking stuff. So I've just gone over that with gray. And now I'm just giving the whole base a black wash. Here I've got a light grey and I'm going over and doing a pretty heavy dry brush over all the concrete parts. Now I've got a white and I'm just doing a dry brush over all the sandy parts, the gravel-ish kind of stuff, just to make it pop and look a bit more like ash. Now I'm just going around and putting some red and just trying to make it look a little bit like there's lava underneath the ash. And then I grab some orange while the red's still a little wet and I just try and blend in that orange so it looks a bit more fiery, lavery. I wasn't happy with how the ash was blending with the concrete so I got a black wash again and just went over the ash parts with a black wash. Then let's do the compulsory black ring around the base and give it a clear coat and he's done. I've got to say, I love these minis. Titan Forge do a fantastic job with their minis and they just, once you print them, they just come out so nice. If you haven't seen Titan Forge stuff before, go and check out their Patreon. Speaking of Patreons, we've got our Patreon, links down in the description. Head on over and have a look at it. Thanks guys, make sure to like, share and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.